We all know by now that The Simpsons have eerily predicted the future on more than one occasion. From Donald Trump becoming President of the United States, the discovery of the Higgs boson particle to the three-eyed fish and so many more, The Simpsons really do seem to have a crystal ball hidden in their writer's room. But what about some of the predictions they've made that haven't happened? Is it possible they could still come true any day now? And if so, could they have an even bigger impact on the upcoming American election? Check out the rest of the video for all of the spooky things that The Simpsons have predicted that just might come true, and soon. Hey, I got a B-mail too! Don't open it, homie! It's a virus! Too late! I... <laughs> All the way back in 2001, The Simpsons aired an episode called New Kids on the Blech. It's a classic Simpsons favorite for anyone who's a fan of the show, and featured a story about Bart, Milhouse, Ralph, and Nelson being formed into an overnight sensation boy band called the Party Posse. The episode aired at the height of the late 90s, early 2000s boy band craze, in which NSYNC and the Backstreet Boys ruled the pop music scene. While it started off innocently enough, later on in the episode, the group dropped their first single titled Drop Da Bomb. In it is the mysterious lyric, Ivanet Niage, which Lisa figures out is actually the phrase join the navy spelled backwards. It turns out that the record label is using this subliminal messaging to try to get kids to enroll in the navy. Now this isn't a totally new idea, as the underrated gem Josie and the Pussycats movie would have a similar plot and was released in the same year. But some think that this isn't just the work of fiction, and that we could be living in a world in which there are subliminal messages hidden in our music, movies, and TV. For a long time, the idea of a robot doctor was something straight out of a sci-fi movie. And, in this case, a Simpsons episode. In 2011, we got a glimpse of the Simpsons idea of modern medicine in the episode Holidays of Future Past, when a very pregnant Maggie is visited by a robot doctor. And while that seemed far-fetched at the time, these days the idea of an entirely virtual doctor visit doesn't sound so bad. Sure, we're not quite there yet, but with robotics helping out in surgery and doctor visits taking place more and more over Zoom, it's really just a matter of time. Ah, Mars. Since human beings began strapping themselves into metal tubes and being shot out into space, there has been talk of colonizing the Red Planet. And in 2016, The Simpsons explored just what it could mean to sign up for an expedition to Mars in the episode The Margian Chronicles. In the episode, a company named Exploration Incorporated is planning the first manned mission to Mars, set to take place in 2026, and Lisa signs herself up to go. Unfortunately, things get pushed forward and suddenly the the launch date is at the end of that same week. While 2026 might seem really soon, in reality, the first mission could be a whole lot sooner. Like in two years. Elon Musk and his team are actually preparing to send human beings to Mars in 2022. So while The Simpsons may not have predicted a mission to Mars in general, they weren't far off with the date. We've all known since day one that Lisa Simpson was going to grow into one of the brightest minds of her generation. She's always excelled in school, won all kinds of awards, is a musical prodigy, is the future president of the United States, and has invented more things by the age of eight than we will probably ever do in a lifetime. Sure, she's fictional, but hey, it's still very impressive. In the eighth episode of season 27, Lisa invents something that environmentalists and car aficionados all around the world have been dreaming about for years, a solar-powered car. She uses this amazing invention to compete in the Springfield Alternative Energy Derby and is just about to cross the finish line first when the famous Duff Blimp crosses in front of the sun and grinds her car to a halt with inches to spare. While some think this was just a funny moment, others wonder if The Simpsons were trying to make a bigger statement about corporations deliberately getting in the way of environmental technological advancements. Sure, it could just be a good joke, but knowing The Simpsons, there's probably more going on than it's seems. The Simpsons has toyed with the idea that robots could take over our lives in more ways than one, and we will come back to that premise one more time later on in the video. They definitely aren't the only TV show or movie to introduce the idea, as robot supremacy has been a popular subject in the science fiction genre since it began. And yet, all the way back in 1994, The Simpsons aired an episode called Itchy and Scratchy Land that imagined a world in which one moment could set off some seemingly innocent robots and turn them into man-hunting machines. 
Simpsons. When the Simpson family visits the Itchy and Scratchy theme park, they're surrounded by hundreds of mechanical versions of the characters. Even though they are assured by the park employees that the characters are only programmed to attack each other and not the guests, it's only a matter of time before things go completely haywire. And according to Jürgen Schmidhuber, a man known by many as the father of artificial intelligence, this moment might not be all that far off in real life. In fact, he predicts that we could see AI advancing past human control by the year 2030. In the year 2000, the future was on everyone's mind. It might seem funny to think back on it now, but people were genuinely terrified that the world was going to explode because of a phenomenon known as Y2K. Of course, it didn't, and the clocks just kept on ticking the way they always have. In that same year, The Simpsons aired the 17th episode of their 11th season with a story all about our possible futures. It was called Bart to the Future, and it took place in an imagined timeline in the year 2030. In that year, Lisa Simpson was the president of the United States states, and Bart was a college dropout still waiting for his band to make it big. Funnily enough, this is the episode credited for predicting the Trump presidency. As you know, we've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. And that wasn't the only futuristic idea that the writers of this episode imagined could become a thing. The other big one was virtual reality food. And uh, while we might be 10 years away from sucking virtual fudge through a tube, there are already studies going on about how eating while connected to the VR headset might change the way our food tastes. So uh, watch out for VR food in the not so distant future. The Simpsons have long been known for their awesomely frightening Halloween special episodes, but in the 2016 Halloween episode, one tiny sight gag might have just been the spookiest joke of all. We see the family all dressed up in their Halloween costumes and out trick-or-treating with Homer dressed as Bender from Futurama in an awesome crossover joke that fans loved. In a blink-and-you'll-miss-it moment, Homer opens the front of his costume to reveal that he has an Ivanka 2028 sticker displayed, meaning that in the year 2028, Ivanka Trump will be running for president. <laughs> While this idea might not scare everyone, the strangest thing about it was that the episode aired before Trump had claimed the presidency. We still have eight years or so to find out if this prediction will come true, but the fact that they have foreseen so many other accurate historical moments really makes us wonder if this one could turn out to be true after all. Well, we said earlier on that we'd be coming back to the world of artificial intelligence, and here we are. Another classic favorite Simpsons moment is definitely the segment from the season 13 Halloween special episode, Ultra House 3000. In it, we find out that Homer has taken it upon himself to upgrade the Simpson home to a fancy and entirely automated smart home called the Ultra House 3000, voiced by none other than Pierce Brosnan. At first, things seem to be going well with the Ultra House, until it develops a fixation on Marge and sets out trying to get rid of Homer in order to have her all to itself. Even though most of us decided in that moment to never allow a robot to control our homes after we saw just how badly it went for the Simpson family, there is more smart home technology out there on the market than ever before. From Alexa to Google Home to everything in between, we seem to be moving closer and closer to the reality of the Ultra House 3000. When The Simpsons announced in 2006 that they'd be making their first ever feature-length film, audiences everywhere were excited and a little skeptical. But lucky for us, it turned out to be a pretty great movie. The whole story starts off in classic Simpsons fashion when Homer goes against the rules and dumps his trash into the town lake that had finally just been cleaned. As a result, the Environmental Protection Agency shuts down all traffic in and out of Springfield and encloses the entire town in a giant dome in order to stop them from polluting anywhere else. Now, in a time in which we are no strangers to being quarantined, this whole plot actually feels pretty accurate, even if it's extreme. And some believe that this kind of large-scale environmental disaster is no longer the stuff of cartoons. And uh, while dropping a dome on an entire town might not be the answer to any environmental problems, there is tons of talk about just how serious our pollution problem is. If only we lived in a world in which Homer Simpson could come and save the day. After he wrecked it first, of course. It makes sense that the episode in which we get to see the Simpson family transported to the year 2030 would contain a ton of predictions about what the future could look like, especially since it was made in the year 2000. We've already talked about the virtual reality food from that episode, and of course the prediction of Trump's time in office, but there is one more gag that, while it hasn't come true yet, could still be in our future. 
while you might think we're talking about the phrase smell you later taking over as the new form of saying goodbye, I can't believe smell you later replaced goodbye. We're actually talking about the very cool hologram telephone that made its debut in that episode. We have seen hologram technology make all kinds of leaps and bounds in recent years, from having Tupac appear on stage again to three-sided display cases that you can purchase at Best Buy, but they haven't quite made it into the pockets of everyday people quite yet. And yet, in this world in which it's a little bit hard to gather with friends inside your home these days, having someone pop up in glorious 3D via hologram might actually be just what we need. Smell you later! Smell you, Smell later. you later! Homer, <laughs> get down here! Your vote for president has never been more important! That's today! Hmm? Hmm. So vague. <laughs> you slept all day? You didn't vote? Hey, how bad could it be? Glasses. Oh, that's what I get for voting for president. That's a stumper. Can I write in Judge Judy? You're hesitating over president? Dad, by all that's decent, how could you forget everything that's happened the last four years? Not sure what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. Well, that one was just funny. Hmm. <laughs> that was bad. That was worse. Someone made that up. Yike! I gotta do something! So vague. So vague. So vague. <laughs>